Now this part then we've got to solve this equation for x between 0 and 2 pi radians. Now we already know from the first part that what we see on the left hand side here was shown to be 2 sec x. So therefore what we can say is that 2 sec x must be equal to 4. And what that means is that if we divide both sides by 2 we've got sec x is equal to 2 and sec x is the same as 1 over cos x so that must be equal to 2 which means that if I rearrange this for cos x cos x is equal to a half. So therefore to get x all I need to do is inverse cos both sides so we've got the inverse cos of a half and this is a standard answer if you are in degrees mode this would be 60 degrees. 60 degrees though in radians is the equivalent of pi upon 3. Pi upon 3 radians. There you go. And you could put a little c there for that to denote radians. Now if you want any other solutions you could either draw a graph or as I generally prefer the quadrant method. I'd have naught radians here and goes round in an anti-clockwise direction. Where is cosine positive? Well it's positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So I'd draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal marking these two angles as being the same. What angles do I want? What are possible values of x? Well that's that one. Turn to the first blue line and we want this one round here. All right. Let's label that with a green x. And we've already seen that the first value of x, pi upon 3, is this one. So that blue angle in there is pi upon 3. And so too must this one here be pi upon 3. Pi upon 3 radians that is. And so to get the green x, all I've got to do is 2 pi radians, the equivalent of 360 degrees, minus pi upon 3. So that's going to be 5 thirds pi. 5 thirds pi or 5 pi upon 3 radians. And there you have it. The solutions then to this equation. Well that brings us now to the end of the question and I hope you've been able to follow my workings.